This morning, nearly two years after a deadly school shooting in South St. Louis, while well, police have just released never before seen video. And we want to let you know right now that our newsroom is in the process of downloading that video we just got and going through it to share key parts of it with you here on air. We will give you a warning before we air any of this new surveillance and the body camera videos. Again, we will give you that warning. Now, we're also getting the full videos posted in their entirety on our website as well. Yeah, certainly been a lot of discussion over these videos as well as the records since the deadly shooting that claimed the lives of a student and a teacher. First Lord Force Caroline Hecker, she joins us live this morning from CVPA with a look at just how we got here and why the videos, Caroline, are being made public today. Well, that's right, and like you said, the surveillance video that we have in our newsroom right now is the video you're going to see in a moment, but I kind of want to describe to you based on what police have told us what you're going to see in that video, more or less. So you can see behind me, there is what is now a steel door. We know at the time of the shooting, that was a glass paned door, and we know based on what police have told us that that shooter was able to break the glass within the door, crawl in, and that is where he entered the school. So that is where the video, according to police, is going to pick up, and you're going, it's about nine minutes long. We're told there's no audio in that surveillance video, but you're going to be able to see the shooter basically roaming the halls, moving from the second to the third floor, things like that. Now, the second video that we are still waiting on from police is body camera video that was worn by one of the officers, obviously, who responded to the scene. Police say in that video, you will see the officer run into the school. He will go straight up to the third floor, and with other officers, they engage in a brief shootout with the shooter and ultimately kill him. Now, now again, what I can tell you is the investigation is closed. We know it's been about two years. Police hope that these videos can provide some insight, valuable insight into what exactly happened inside the school here and what kind of takeaways there can be for both training police officers as well as school officials everywhere. They have unarmed and they also have a mobile reserve team that goes around for all schools and they respond to critical incidents. And if they see things that, that they might have to mobilize and be there to prevent something happening, they like that balance between having unarmed and also armed responding. And it's something that they're going to stand by. They've looked at best practices and they've looked at the risks and this is exactly where they want to be. Uh, we're going to respond when 911 is, is, being call, is called and we're going to respond accordingly to make sure we can mitigate any threats that happen. Now, one thing the police and the school officials have said is they are concerned that when these videos are shown publicly that it could potentially re-traumatize anyone that was involved in what happened here. They have made resources available to those affected, but again, they say because the investigation is closed, they have to abide by Missouri Sunshine Law, and that is why these two videos are being released today. We're live in South St. Louis this morning. Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4. All right, thank you, Caroline. And of course, as we said just within the last few minutes, police have released a surveillance video from inside the school. All right, here's that warning. We want to warn you right now, we are going to show you, share with you one clip from that video when the shooter gets inside and a security guard is nearby. This video is going to last about a minute. There is no audio on it. So Mo and I here are going to walk you through uh, what we're seeing here. Of course, you do see the shooter. And again, this was back on October 24th of 2022. The former student shot through the door through the side door. This is the video that you're seeing on your screen. Okay, and Mo and I are just seeing this for the first time with you. We're walking you through. It takes a few moments from the initial glass breaking before he's actually inside the school again. There is that uh, security guard right there. That's the individual that you see in the hallway. That's where that red arrow is pointing to. So this is at 9.07 in the morning. The man you see there is an unarmed security guard. Again, 9.07 when all of this happened. Yeah, so you can see this would be about 9.23 before police actually got into the school and he was in custody by 926. If you recall, Harris was armed with an AR-15 style rifle with more than 600 rounds of ammunition, about a dozen 30 round magazines. Of course, you see him wearing all black clothing 
in that video. Yeah, and when you saw him come through that door for the first time, and as I'm talking about him, that is Orlando Harris, the shooter there, seems like he just took a right turn, Mo, mm -hmm. and you can only imagine that was perhaps like a classroom or some sort of room in the school, that security guard and then uh, retreating down the hallway. Again, this is what we're showing you. Again, this is uh, airing again. This is that one minute clip, no audio. And the security guard there on the right side of your screen, on the left side, what we're popping up there um, is is the door that he walked through. And of course, you remember it was a glass door, shot the glass door out. Now, as you saw from our Caroline Hacker, that is now a steel door that's on the side of that school right now. But once again, this video released by police just a few minutes ago. Yeah, that first call coming in at 9.07, or he he walked into the school at 9.07. Police got the call at 9.11. Police were there on scene at 9.15. Okay, again, this is the first time that we are seeing this video with you. Our newsroom going through all of it right now and deciding what we're gonna share with you on air. Um, so we'll be doing that throughout the morning. We're also also posting our videos in the entirety those two videos we just got from the police department on our website and in our first alert for news app and of course first alert for investigates has been digging into the CVPA shooting investigation for almost two years now if you would like to see our exclusive reporting on this video as well as the new documents and the records you can go to firstlord4.com slash cvpa revealed the site will also include resources that are available if you or someone you know is in crisis coming up